Hi there. We're almost done with competitive analysis. Now you know who your top competitors are, how they plan and execute their SEO strategy, what keywords they use, and how they perform. Now it's time to get on with content benchmarking, which involves analysis of your competitors' pieces of content and their content strategy in general. Firstly, we'll begin with the post tracking tool to see how certain articles and blog posts of your competitors perform in terms of visibility and user engagement metrics. Let's explore the tool. At the top left corner of the screen, click the toolkit selector to switch temporarily to the content marketing toolkit. Then click post tracking and start tracking button next to your project name. On this page, enter the URL of the article you want to track. The tool will measure its performance by the following metrics. The number of keywords that a chosen URL is ranking for in the Google Top 100. To see it, you'll need to add your keywords or choose from the list of recommended ones that the article is already ranking for. Backlinks. After discovering your competitor's backlinks, you can use them for your link building later on. Shares. It takes a worthy piece of content to urge your audience to tell their friends and colleagues about it, so be aware of this metric as well. To see the most notable shares on Twitter, click the Top Contributors button. In the pop-up window, you'll get more info on people who shared a certain post with the most number of tweets or followers. After you've added several articles, you can find the aggregate of all these metrics for the added articles at the top. You can either add up to 50 articles to the existing group or create a new group to start another study. Let's find out how a topic you want to write about is covered by your competitors and what pieces of content devoted to this topic are the most notable. This can be easily done with the topic research tool. Let's look at the tool more closely. Type your topic of interest into the search bar, then choose the target location. You can narrow down your targeting to the city level and language. Below the search bar, enter your competitor's domain and click the Get Content Ideas. You'll see cards with subtopics on the tool's main screen with some of them highlighted green. This means that your competitor has already created a piece of content about the subtopic and is ranking for it. Blue cards, in turn, comprise subtopics that are not yet covered by our competitor. For your convenience, you can sort these cards either by volume, which is the monthly average number of searches for a certain topic, difficulty, which reflects how hard it is to rank for this topic, or topic efficiency, which is the ratio between volume and difficulty. Higher topic efficiency corresponds to higher volume and lower difficulty. Alternatively, if you're looking for trending topics, turn on the trending subtopic switch. Pay attention to the color of bullhorns. They indicate how resonant a headline is. This is based on the number of backlinks earned by a certain piece of content with this specific headline. You can save your findings by clicking the favorites pictogram next to chosen headlines and questions. Then, from the Favorites Ideas tab, you'll be able to export your research results to an Excel file, send a task to Trello, or arrange an activity in the SEMrush marketing calendar. Our next step will be to find the resources your competitors use to publish their content and to earn a mention or a backlink from. Most often, these resources may agree on granting backlinks and mentions to your website as well. And the brand monitoring tool will aid you in doing this. Let's set up the tool. It will ask you to add a keyword that corresponds to your competitor's brand name. Then add up to three main keywords, up to five additional keywords, and exclude up to five keywords that you want to avoid from tracking. By using different keyword combinations, you can adjust the breadth of the topic being researched. Then, choose the language or country and click Start Tracking. A few moments later, you'll see a screen that highlights all the times our competitor's business was mentioned on the web, and separately, Instagram and Twitter. To ensure the quality of the found resources, apply filters by traffic volume, estimated reach, and authority score, which indicates the authority of a given domain and based on the SEMrush domain score. Gather the desired resources that can potentially publish your content by adding them to the track list. This list can later be found under the Resources tab. Then, apply the link to the website filter to see which resources have backlinks referring to your competitor's website. These resources owners can consider the possibility of adding a backlink to your website too, if you have relevant content worth mentioning. 
But that's not all. There are more and more tools you can use to do content benchmarking. For instance, the on-page SEO checker will analyze your top 10 competitors in the areas like content length, the number of referring domains, use of video, keyword usage, ordered list, markups, and readability for each setup target keyword. We'll walk you through the steps of this scenario in the lesson dedicated entirely to the tool. To wrap up, here are some reminders to help you work on your content benchmarking. First, use the post tracking tool to see how articles and blog posts of your competitors actually performed. Then, find out how your competitors cover certain topics and which of their pieces of content are the most notable with the topic research tool. You can also use the brand monitoring tool to find where your competitors publish their content and earn a mention or backlink from. And finally, Analyze your top 10 competitors' content quality with the help of the on-page SEO checker. If you want to learn more about how to set up a sound content marketing campaign by using our tools, I highly encourage you to dive deeper into the SEMrush Content Marketing Toolkit course. It will teach you how to analyze and optimize your existing content. You can also research topics and get ideas for creating new pieces of content and ways to distribute your content track the performance, and manage your campaigns. Be sure to explore all of the tools mentioned in this lesson to acquire practical skills. And also, don't forget consulting further materials and visiting our knowledge base and blog to learn more.